Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're back with another makeup review. Now I know my loyal subscribers are used to me doing Foundation Fridays. It's so catchy, right? But I will be reviewing the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I have already reviewed the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. This is one of their newer launches of their foundations. It has 45 shades, which is a huge range, especially for a drugstore foundation. So if you want to see my full review on the foundation and my full wear test of wearing it all day on oily skin, make sure you watch that video here. Now NYX can be found pretty much at any drugstore, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, also Ulta, and NYX has their own stores now. This concealer is supposed to be able to conceal contour and correct it's 0.11 fluid ounces so it's 3.5 milliliters and I'm using the color beige now according to the NYX website oh look how cute my phone case is it says respect my hair <laughs> gotta love it but on the NYX website the concealer is eight dollars and fifty cents not bad a pretty normal affordable price for a drugstore concealer and there are 24 shades to choose from so not as many shades as their foundation range, but still a good amount. This is supposed to be highly pigmented, which I would agree. They're claiming that it's a lightweight liquid that won't transfer. I don't know if I'd call it lightweight because it does have great coverage, but hopefully it doesn't transfer. It's supposed to be blendable, be a matte formula to camouflage imperfections, brighten up your face, or contour those features. Now this is supposed to last for 24 hours. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing wear tests with my concealers, I might just do like a first impression, but we'll see if I come back at the end of this video. Now without further ado, let me show you exactly how I apply the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna try to use as many NYX products as possible, starting with the NYX Shine Killer. I think it might be best to keep it all in the family. And this is supposed to eliminate the look of oil and shine, so face stays matte. We'll see about that one. Okay, that feels very smooth, like a nice little layer is over my skin. And I'm gonna grab the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation, 24 hour matte finish wear in the color Cinnamon. And I'm gonna be using a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, of course. And this stuff goes a long way. So I'm gonna do one pump. Whoop, see how thick it is? Very full coverage. Okay, so now I have on my foundation, but today's victim is really all about the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I haven't tried this with the matching Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. This will be a first impression try on. This is the color beige. Here we go. And let's just do, ooh. It is very thick. I'm just gonna do a couple dots for now and see how this blends out and then we'll try the other eye. I like the creamy consistency of it, and I like how a little bit goes a long way. So now I'm gonna try a little bit more on the other side to do more of like a sweeping motion. I like that. I like when I could just spread a concealer like this, and it's not all choppy and streaky. It stays full coverage. Look at that. That's pretty nice. So anytime I highlight, I like to make this little triangle shape, and then I bring it back here to really lift the face. So here's the side with like a sweeping motion of concealer and this side is just a couple dots. But I do like more coverage so I'm gonna go with a couple more. I'd say a couple then I draw a triangle anyways. Let's do some on the eyelids. Brighten that up. Forehead. Down the nose. Keep it bow. And chin. My husband likes to call this my war paint. Okay, so here's the finished look. It did blend out very nicely. It was very smooth, creamy consistency, very good coverage. Definitely brightened up the eye area. So far, so good, but let's see how it sets with the setting powder. I will be using the Face Atelier Ultra Loose Powder in the color Translucent. And I'm just going to also use my Beauty Blender. And I'm going to set this so it doesn't crease. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and finish the rest of my face. And voila, my full face. So now that everything is all together, I really like how it looks. It might be a little thick for some of you that want to use it on an everyday basis. I personally have very dark circles, so I'm looking for that full coverage on any day of the week. So now at this point, I am going to do a little bit of a wear test. It is currently 3 p.m., and I'll come back in a couple hours and show you how well it's holding up. And I'm back. It is now 6.40, so almost four hours away, and I am getting a little bit shiny. But the focus, once again, is on my concealer. The concealer still looks really good. Everything's intact, still giving me full coverage, and it's actually very matte. But I am going to blot with this Black Opal Invisible Oil Blocking Pressed Powder. And let's just try to get rid of some of the shine. Ah, there we go much better. So overall, I do think everything is lasting very well, especially with the coverage, but you just gotta make sure that you blot yourself down if you are as oily as I am. That way your skin doesn't look more shiny than your under eye. But besides that, I do think this is a really good concealer, especially for the price. It has really good full coverage. I'll probably continue to use it for the rest of the week. If you have tried this concealer, I'd love to know your opinion on the concealer or the foundation, actually. So leave me a comment down below so we all can know. If you enjoyed this review and want more makeup videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post videos on Fridays and Sundays. But if you don't want to wait till the end of the week, you totally can just follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.